Okay, back again. As you can see, I've been a little bit busy here. And I've made the whole front nose section. Bottom repair. Uh, it's not ground down. Uh, it's not had the final shape put in. I figured it's pointless until I get it on the vehicle and um, welded because it'll change slightly. So I'm quite happy with it. It's uh, It's got pretty much the shape that I want. Um, I did it in three parts, so the edges aren't finished yet, but uh, yeah, so one, I did this one first, I've got my lineups right, so that, and a uh, fair bit of grinding, it's all welded from the back, very, very hard to weld this section, it was um, just basically pitted right throughout the metal, on the back end, on the back side. Uh, in hindsight, I should have just welded it from the front. It would have made my life a lot easier. Um, I kept punching through from the back, blowing through, so I reckon I could have just dialed the welder right down and just picked away at it from the front sitting on the vehicle like this. It probably would have been a lot easier. But, uh, you know, you do these things and learn, so little bit of shrink here I haven't um, hammer and dollied it yet so there's a couple of low sections namely here where this weld was so where you have this weld it sort of pulls these two together and then you get a bit of a hump here so if I have to do a bit of shrink heat shrinking there I will same deal over here there's a bit of a bump here and a bit of a valley here so if I knock the valley out it should bring this down um, and you probably find, yeah, there is, there's one there as well, so um, After I've ground it down and I'll just uh, hammer and dolly it But the important thing is that, uh, you know, this vehicle has a front end now, so It's not Folded around that edge and there's a bit more work to go here and underneath this there's a little bit of rust and this one as well and that whole side there needs to be tuned up a bit better it's, it's coming out which is not supposed to be doing so and then also you've got up the top there this section here and along there which I haven't done and I've taken the uh, windscreen divider out and this section here so then obviously I'll get behind it and uh, rust treat the whole lot and then paint it with uh, with bitumen. But I just thought I'd show you my progress. A fair bit of work involved in doing something like this is probably, you know, a good seven or eight hours more. Especially when you consider I'm only using one of these and this material is extremely rusty and I mean real bad by the time I ground the rust down and I was only using a fiber pad I wasn't actually using a I was using one of these um, uh, these nylock discs so that I didn't take the steel away I was just trying to take the rust away and I reckon this metal was down to about half a millimeter less so I don't know what that is in the um, AWG, the American wire gauge or the steel gauge you guys use over there, but 0.5 mil welding to um, 1 mil zinc anneal, quite difficult, plus this is full of rust, it just kept popping out at me. So I ended up putting a shield in front of my legs when I was welding because it was just popping so much. But uh, yeah, happy with that. It's um, it's just changed the whole appeal of the vehicle now. It actually looks like a a combi. So yeah, I think I've got the peak, the bottom of the nose right. If you guys think it doesn't look right, tell me because uh, 
it's taken me a fair while to sort of uh, get some information for that. So another YouTuber took the time out to to do that. So that's all done on the in English wheel. Every single thing was done on the English wheel for that. And uh, it was all just out of one piece of steel, just like that there. Um, no funny jigs or forms or anything like that. I just persevered and just kept at it. And this part up here was really, really badly dented. So there still is a few dents and rust spots. So I'm probably going to clean it right back up to here. I may be in luck as well because I think... It looks like this vehicle was painted with some white paint I'm seeing now and I'm hoping it might have been some sort of logo that was underneath this red oxide primer so I might spend a bit of try time trying to work out what, what that white was because I was finding it um, down in here when I was, paint was uh, grinding the metal back but I'm happy with it there's a couple of little dings but uh, I think once it's all said and done and cleaned up, uh, like a lot of it's a really good plane, but there is obviously a few spots that uh, need a bit of attention over here mainly and here and as I said there's one there and that whole section there needs to be hammered flat from the back. so. Yeah, the line's looking pretty good. Um, I did what, uh, um, another shout out to Marcy Junebug, so I took the measurements that she gave me, even though the peak on her nose, on her pickle bus was uh, slightly dented down here, I took seven centimeters across, and that was with a one inch rule, so, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. couple of little rusty spots to get rid of here but uh, this is just preliminary cleanup after the welding from the back so I had this upside down and so the whole thing was upside down and inside out and I welded across from the top and uh, that's what I've, I'm, I've just clamped it back in in here now and um, just given it a quick clean with a wire brush I haven't hit it with a grinder yet and that's what you're looking at is what I'm looking at right now so just that I show you uh, where I'm at but I think that's just a a really good landmark for me um, with this bus it means that you know I can start working from this point on it's it's if you haven't followed any of these videos and I know that there's not been that many people watching but uh, if you get directed to this video and you and you think, oh no, yeah, it's just a bottom nose skin, but if you go back in the videos and see where this has come from, you'll be surprised. You'll probably be shocked, actually. And you probably say to yourself, that's really not what I want to be doing in my spare time. But I'm stupid, so... I just persevere until it's done so that's where I'm at and I'm very very happy very happy at all at indeed so yeah shout out to the duck man I uh, watched one of his videos this morning and he's put some Porsche brakes on the front I really like that idea uh, yeah, I really, really like that idea. It uh, it seems like something that I'm, I might even think about doing myself because I don't have any of the the internals for all of the brakes. So I have to buy all them new anyway and it'd probably be cheaper for me to buy that whole system that he's put on his bus than it would be for me here in Australia to buy all of the components that I need to restore the front brakes on this vehicle. Uh, it would at least be, 
I'm just guessing here, but probably at least $1,500 Australian to do the brakes on the front alone on this vehicle. So I could probably follow his lead and source those secondhand parts uh, quite cheaply here in Australia. Um, but yeah, it's something to think about. And uh, yeah, have a good one. See you next time.